Hello everyone, welcome to Telangana Exam Center. Today we will be talking about an important topic that is doing buzz around various newspapers, news channels and social media that is removal of vice president of our country. Now why opposition want to remove the VP of our country? What could be the reasons behind the removal of vice president of our country? And what is the process mentioned in our constitution for the removal procedure of VP of our country? All these areas we are going to learn in this particular short and sweet lecture. So stay tuned to it and get lot of insights. It is very much content oriented. Along with that, the next slide is having MCQ which will help you to evaluate whatever you have learned. I will also tell you what modules we are running in our institute. You can be a part of it and empower us. So let us start our discussion. The first important MCQ is there on the screen. Please pause the video and do this MCQ. Consider the following statements. As you know very well that the vice president of our country acts also as a chairman of Rajya Sabha. You are well aware of this fact, I guess. Okay. So Rajya Sabha chairman himself act as a vice president of our country. Now the first statement here is vice president can only be removed as a chairman. Means Rajya Sabha's chairman can only be removed in such a way that it has to be first removed from the office of vice president. This is a very tricky statement. Please understand it very properly. Here it is very clearly mentioned. Vice president of our country can only be removed as a chairman of Rajya Sabha. Okay. Until and unless we don't remove the chairman as a vice president, you cannot remove the chairman of Rajya Sabha. Okay. This point is very tricky. Try to understand it. Second point here is for the removal motion of vice president of our country, 24 days notice has to be given. This is the second point. Removal of vice president requires special majority of Lok Sabha and simple majority of Rajya Sabha. Okay. These are the three important statements. These are the options here. Please try to pause it and do this. And at the end of the lecture, I'll will discuss this particular question and I will give you the correct answer for it. Let us start our discussion. These are some important modules that we are running in our institute. So TSPSC group 1, paper 4, paper 5, paper 6 and paper 1. All these will be given to you at this price only test series, classes and test series. This is there and you can learn the silent features here. For UPSC student, GS paper 3 and general essay has been as a module has been given. So you can be a part of it. For this, you have to call to this number which is given here. Okay. This is a number. So I will be connecting with you and we'll have a discussion and demo on this particular uh, ads and what is your requirement. And based on that, we'll formulate a very good strategic plan for your preparation and also to crack the examination. Let us go ahead in our discussion now. Opposition parties have raised concerns. Why they want to remove? Why opposition want to remove? Vice President of our country. Remember this point. Opposition in our country is now represented as India Block. Okay. Whereas BJP plus coalition parties are called as NDA. Now Congress plus all other parties like minded parties are now called as India Block. This was previously called as UPA. United Progressive Alliance. Remember this point. So UPA now became what? India Block. So the opposition party is nothing but India Block has raised concerns that Mr. Vice President, nothing but the chairman of Rajya Sabha himself is not actually following rules and conventions which has been set since the time of independence. The recurring switching of the microphones uh, of the opposition leaders when they are speaking, this is one important complaint they have. Second complaint is that Mr. Dhankar sir, the present vice president of our country is not following rules and conventions as has been established since the time of our independence. And whenever a ruling party member is giving or uh, giving a uh, personal remarks on the opposition leaders, Mr. Dhankar sir, that is the vice president of our country, nothing but chairman of Rajya Sabha is not taking that into cognizance and letting the ruling party members to comment personally on the opposition leaders also. This is the third complaint they are having. Okay, and moreover, the India Block has accused Mr. Dhankar, the President Chairman and Vice President of our country, that he is acting as a partisan member. Nothing but as a speaker or a chairman, you have to be like balancing both ruling and the opposition party. That is your job. But the India Block has accused Mr. Dhankar, the Chairman of Rajya Sabha, alias you can say that Vice President, that 
he is more inclined towards his party that has elected him as a vice president of india nothing but he is more okay more of a bjp person not a person of what the rajya sabha that is what the complaint is so, so four complaints are there on the vice president of our country nothing but the chairman of rajya sabha now if you want to remove the chairman of rajya sabha there is no such procedure is there my dear students remember this point chairman of rajya sabha cannot be removed and there is no such procedure is there chairman of rajya sabha can only be removed when he is removed from the position of what vice president this was the first statement in our mcq also so why they want to remove we have learned the four important complaints of that let us see the removal procedure the vice president is ex officio chairman of rajya sabha okay and he holds very pivotal role and position in the parliamentary system and it is and he or she is entrusted for the smooth functioning of the rajya sabha that is nothing but upper house they can only be removed as a chairman if you want to remove the chairman of rajya sabha then you have to first of all remove him from the office of vice president of india this is what was there in the statement 1 okay the statement 1 whatever we have learnt is right and true according to the content which is there here okay okay right now what are the removal grounds article 67b of the constitution state that vice president may be removed from his office by a resolution of council of states council of states are nothing but rajya sabha rajya sabha mps should write a letter and should sign it okay maximum number of people should sign it and present it to the chairman then it is called as what a resolution has been moved so article 67b of the constitution states that vice president may be removed from his office by a resolution of council of states passed by the majority of all the then members of the council and agreed to by the house of the people means rajya sabha has to introduce remember this point the power to remove the vice president of india lies only with rajya sabha lok sabha cannot initiate the motion to remove the vice president of india remember this point so rajya sabha members has to sign on a letter saying that we don't like his behavior so he should be removed like that a paragraph should be written and lot of mps should be signing on it how many should be signing on it okay majority of the then members means at that time how many members will be there in the rajya sabha at this point of time 250 members are there so majority is nothing but half plus 1 means 125 plus 1 if 126 members uh, sign it okay or approve that particular resolution it means in rajya sabha the removal procedure of vice president is done then it will go to lok sabha that is house of the people there also it has to be passed with the majority only so in both the so in both the cases simple majority is envisage means in lok sabha also 50% plus one members are enough in rajya sabha also 50% plus one members are enough so in the third statement of our mcq if you see we have talked about okay special majority for lok sabha uh, simple majority for rajya sabha this kind of differentiation is not there okay in both the houses simple majority is enough in order to remove the rajya sabha chairman now let us go at no resolution for the purpose of this clause shall be moved unless at least 14 days notice so 14 days notice should be given in advance to the rajya sabha okay then only the process of his removal will start remember this point here so in our mcq i have given you 24 days 24 days is wrong 14 days is raised okay now let us see the process here okay the resolution for the removal can be introduced only in rajya sabha that is what already i have told you the vice president or the chairman of rajya sabha removal procedure has to be initiated only in rajya sabha not in lok sabha this is the first point the resolution has to be moved only after 14 days notice a notice of removal should be given to mr dankar sir sir see that we are going to move a motion against you so after 14 days that should be done the resolution should be passed in rajya sabha by effective majority effective majority is nothing but a majority of the then members of rajya sabha excluding the vacant seat okay so vacant seats are there leaving aside how many members will be present in that members if the majority means nothing but 50% plus one members pass it then it is called as removal procedure has been passed in rajya sabha 
the same simple majority should be adopted by the lok sabha also if lok sabha also passes the resolution by simple majority mr dankar sir has to go home it means he has removed when the resolution is under consideration when the resolution was being sp spoken up in rajya sabha in lok sabha why we are doing this why we want to remove etc somebody will defend somebody will allegate etc so and so when the discussions are happening with regard to the resolution of removal of vice president of india or the chairman of rajya sabha the chairman cannot preside mr dankar sir cannot sit on the chair he has to come out of the chair he cannot preside over the house the person can be present he can be there in with their members like the bjp members he can sit on their particular area he can present he can speak and take part in the proceedings but the, at a time of voting like simple majority is there no at a time of voting he cannot vote unlike the chairman of rajya sabha the speaker of lok sabha can vote in the first instance though not in case of equality of votes when the resolution for their removal is under consideration this is a very very important point one has to remember see for rajya sabha whenever chairman wants to be removed from the rajya sabha the chairman has no voting rights all together neither he can cast vote before the voting neither he can cast vote after the voting take place this point you have to remember but in case of lok sabha speaker removal speaker will be given chance chance to cast vote before the voting take place but he cannot do the same after the voting has happened so the uh, rajya sabha chairman does not enjoy first of all casting vote whereas speaker enjoys the casting vote at the beginning of what voting take place this is all about it how i hope this is all clear to you take care bye bye have a nice day